Welcome to Robinson Foundry. My name's Seth Robinson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I made a pair of solid bronze megalodon teeth. I recently posted some videos showing how I made these megalodon teeth. These are solid silver, and this one is bronze. Those videos got a lot of attention, and many people were wondering where they could purchase a tooth. So I decided to make this video showing how I made these megalodon teeth and also offer them for sale for those of you who would like to support the channel. These teeth were sand cast and in order to make a sand mold I started by temporarily filling the top part of the mold box with sand and tightly packing it down. I used these resin copies of actual teeth as patterns. Using a rubber mallet, I pressed the teeth down into the sand and then packed the sand down around the edges. I used some tape to temporarily pull the teeth out of the sand. This broke away sand around the edges of the teeth, helping to establish the parting line. The parting line is the dividing line between the two parts of the mold. After cleaning up the edges, I placed the other part of the mold box on and filled it with sand. Baby powder was used as a parting compound, which prevented the two parts of the mold from sticking together. Then I flipped the entire mold over and removed the part of the mold that I temporarily filled with sand. The sand in that side was then removed and filled again. I know it seems a little strange to remove the sand just to fill it up again, but this will help achieve the highest level of detail possible and produce very nice looking castings. To remove the patterns from the mold, I simply flipped it over and let them fall out. I drilled a hole to pour the metal into, called a sprue, and channels for the metal to flow through, called runners. I also added vent holes to allow smoke and gases to escape through as the mold is being filled with metal. I needed about 3 pounds or 1.3 kilograms of bronze to fill the mold. I made my own bronze by mixing 95% copper with 5% tin. I started by melting copper, which took about 25 minutes in my homemade furnace. Once the copper was molten, I added the tin, which instantly melted when it hit the molten copper. I stirred up the metal and then checked to make sure that it was at a temperature of about 2100 degrees Fahrenheit or 1150 degrees Celsius and then poured it into the mold.
After letting the mold cool down for a while, I opened it up to see how the castings looked. It's always satisfying to see that the mold filled out properly and the castings look good. I used an angle grinder to remove the sprue and then ground away some of the excess metal. I'm always amazed by the level of detail that can be achieved simply by using a sand mold. I used some hand files to clean up the castings and then used a die grinder and Dremel for those hard to reach areas. I cleaned up the roots with a wire wheel and then finished the rest with a very fine abrasive disc. Once I was happy with how the teeth looked, I very carefully applied a clear coat to the enamel portion and then let it dry. I wanted to create a dark patina on the root section only, so to do this I used liver of sulfur. When I submerged the teeth in the liver of sulfur, it only darkened the root section, leaving the coated portion bright and shiny. Using some steel wool, I brightened up the darkened root just a bit and then sealed the whole thing with a clear coat. I also designed and 3D printed some little stands to help display the teeth. I think these Megalodon teeth turned out great and I love how detailed they are. If you would like to help support my channel, you can do so by purchasing one of these teeth. You can find a link in the description. And as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments and subscribe for future projects. Thanks for watching.